So, this is vlog every day in April, day two. Um, it looks like day one epically failed um, by using a sort of record direct to YouTube methodology with my webcam. So that was a complete fail. It's still sitting there now saying processing, even though I uploaded it last night. So um, I'm going to still count that as day one because damn it I did record something and it did say that it was uploaded so this time I'm recording this with Panasonic uh, camcorder and then I'll just have to uh, upload the video uh, as is so hopefully that will be good enough um, I really only have uh, two goals for this um, the first is to continue to look directly at the camera and not you know sort of up and around and down but to to focus on looking directly at the camera and two, to, uh, to give at least uh, three minutes uh, worth of time here. Maybe I ought to say a few words about myself. Uh, my name is Bill. Um, I live in uh, Austin, Texas and uh, I work in uh, the computer industry generally. Well, that's not true. I work in the civil engineering industry, but I do um, computer stuff for them. Um, if folks are interested at some point in the future I may talk in more detail about what that computer stuff is but for right now I think I can just say it's computer stuff um, why am I doing this well um, I think everybody needs a YouTube channel I've recorded some songs and uploaded them and done that kind of thing but I've never really done vlogging and um, I think I have maybe some things to say that people might find valuable or useful and so I'm going to try to get them out and I'm going to try to use this as the medium to get those uh, ideas out there. Uh, I'm not going to claim uh, to be any good at this in particular. Um, and honestly, uh, April, uh, the, the, the Vlog Every Day in April project is, is frankly just an attempt uh, to get me jump started in this process. So I don't know how long it's going to take uh, before I actually feel comfortable enough um, in, in my own skin doing this to say something of value. This is sort of really weird. I intentionally flipped the the show me myself around so that I couldn't see uh, what I looked like doing this uh, so that I could focus on uh, looking at the camera here. Uh, so um, that's going to take a little bit of getting used to. This sort of one-eyed monster there with that little red light that tells me that this is actually being recorded. So um, what about my point of view is interesting enough that it would be worth talking about. Well, I am somewhat of a contradiction in terms. By day, I work an incredibly analytic job. By night, I sing and play guitar and do stuff like that. I am politically, I'll say libertarian, I'll use that words in quotes. I'm, I'm not a, a card-carrying member of the Libertarian Party. Uh, mainly because I don't believe in, in parties, um, because I don't believe in the system of, uh, of rule, I guess. I would say I don't believe in the system of democratic rule, but that doesn't mean that I don't believe in democracy per se. I guess I just uh, I have fundamental issues with the idea of rulers and the ruled when we're all just people. Uh, but at the same time as having a fundamental you know, small L libertarian outlook on everything. I'm also a, a married gay man living in Austin, Texas, which gives me a sort of totally different take on that, uh, the product of, uh, of Catholic parents um, and, a, uh, and a father uh, who spent 29 years in the Marine Corps. So it's a sort of really odd juxtaposition of things that runs through my head most of the time. and. Uh, I think that that entire process has led me to the, the worldview, I guess you could say, that I have now. I can be pessimistic in the short term, but in the long term I'm fundamentally optimistic about uh, humanity and the improvement of the human condition. Um, so, so in that sense I'm a glass half full guy. Um, when I look at what's happening in the world around us and how, you know, at a micro scale, uh, there's many steps being taken in, in the direction of uh, of tyranny and oppression um, by people who ought to know better, um, you know, who sort of seem blinded by the, the red-blue dichotomy of today's political contest. It can be kind of depressing, but um, I really don't allow myself to be depressed uh, for very long periods of time at all um, because, you know, it, it, 
ultimately you got to get them to do something about it. So, so there's that kind of a perspective. I don't know. I don't even know. That was kind of mumbling and rambling incoherently. I'm hoping that more practice in front of this thing um, makes it better and maybe actually preparing for it would as well, but um, I didn't prepare for this. I just turned on the camera because it's almost 8 o'clock at night on the 2nd and I said that I was going to do this every day in April, so that means I have to do it. So this uh, hopefully will be the first video that successfully uh, gets up there without uh, staying in the being process mode for 24 hours. And I believe that I have now done this for at least three minutes. So I am going to pause this guy and see how that looks.